Hello, Facebook, YouTube. The day of um, Gabriel, the archangel, God is our strength. Nope, not a uh, man, not he, the false god. Quick acknowledging false gods on God's days. All right. Uh, happy Rosh Hashanah. It is the Jew, uh, Jewish New Year. Supposed to be the New Year based upon the beginning of creation. Pretty much. God created men in his image, in his likeness on this day. On this day, God created men in his image and his likeness happened today. And the thing is, I wonder if most Christians know that. You know that the Jews have all the uh, dates of when creation was established. I wonder how many Christians know that. But it's a sad situation going on that's going to lead me to this message. Now, oh yeah, uh, Rosh Hashanah lasts for uh, sort of kind of two days. Sort of kind of like that. It start at the evening uh, yesterday. And it ends uh, tomorrow. Rosh Hashanah is like this one big, huge... Uh, well, one big day, you know. But uh, the topic of the message is very, very important. Hopefully that you will understand that. Um, it's I was talking to, I ran across somebody at the laundromat. And, you know, I was talk, always talk to a friend that comes to the laundromat, you know, daily about what to expect. <clears throat> what to expect for what God's divine plan is. And the guy overheard me and he wanted to talk with me about certain things of what, you know, what he says is going, I mean, what he, what I was, what I was trying to explain to her concerning the things that is going to happen soon. And I, you know, I told him, I said, great things are going to happen very soon, you know. Um, he's like, wait a minute, you know, uh, they said it's going to be the last and evil days. It's going to be the end times. It's going to be destruction and stuff like that. And I was like, no, it's going to be a wonderful time. Uh, for those that are of the light, it's going to be a wonderful time. According to 1 Thessalonians 5, if you read 1 Thessalonians 5, you should know that that it, 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 you know, that she, Paul gave us the instructions concerning the, the day that it's going to happen, that this is get ready for war and get ready for victory, pretty much. And I was trying to explain to him that, you know, uh, the kingdom is going to come on earth as it is in heaven. And it's like, what? No way. It's like, it's like, you know, he gave me that look. Uh-uh, no way. People are saying this is going to happen. That is going to happen. And I, I was showing him scripture and, you know, of what's going to happen. And and I just said, correction, ju well, judgment, righteous judgment is going to happen. Correction is going to happen to God's people. He was like, oh, really? You know, and that leads me to this message. I have this message called the reality of it is written ology. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not what everybody this preacher said, this teacher said, this philosopher said, whoever that got a natural mouth says. It will always be about what Jesus said to Satan in the wilderness. It is written. You know what I'm saying? And I just put what is written down there. You know what I'm saying? I post what is written. I don't pretty much try to write. If you're going to if you're going to see me writing something, a post or whatever, it's going to explain it is written. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be something that everybody else is saying that is following an incorrect system concerning a religious organization in a world system that is not following the a word of God. You know what I'm saying? It's what really is supposed to be all about. But I'm finished. Well, today is Rosh Hashanah and it is a holy day. Uh, and I'm going to read Colossians 
uh, 2.16. Let no man therefore judge you in me or in drink in, in respect of a holy day or the new moon or of the Sabbath day, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. But watch this. Paul says it's a shadow to things to come. That means we should be paying attention to the whole the holy days of Jewish holidays, pretty much. Um, because they are going to be the days to what is to come, according to it is written. And and unfortunately, you know, uh this is not being taught to many Christians as, as what it needs to be concerning the false doctrine. Now, look, it says for for a time, and I was explaining to him, trying to tell him for, it says for there shall come a time. It says the time is come in um, uh, 1 Peter 4 and 17 that uh, judgment must come to the house of God. You know, I showed him that scripture and then I showed him uh, and of course, Paul says in um, 2 Timothy 4 uh, that men will not, therefore, come a time, for the time will come. That more likely they're saying that this time is going to come, whether you don't believe that it's not going to come or not. You know what I'm saying? The time is going to come. Um, that people need to understand it is written, ology is not based upon what everybody else is saying. And what this person is saying, it is what's written in the scriptures. And, you know, I, I was trying to show him uh, First Corinthians 15 and 23 that talks about that uh, God, that everything has to get in order. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I've been talking, have so many videos about, I talk about the Jesus world order. Like, what? Jesus' world order? That doesn't make sense. I, the world is talking about a new world order going to happen. Well, I told him that, well, according to 1 Corinthians 15, 23, Jesus' world order has to be established. And it was like, what, Mac? Nobody's not talking about a Jesus' world order right now. You know what I'm saying? They're talking about a rapture. You know, what's interesting about that idea that the Jesus... But I explained in the Jesus World Order, it's right on the uh, scripture about the, the rapture chapter of First Corinthians 15. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, it's just that people need to understand that it the ideal of that, first of all, is it's not what you want to believe. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I do say in many videos, it's not, what you want to believe. Will in in will have you end up deceived. You know what I'm saying? It's not what everybody else is say, and you know it's it's sad to what extent how many people follow what everyone else is say and what every uh like I said religious system a church of a religious organization say and what the world say. Everybody's so caught up in this and not questioning the simple outcomes. Of these uh, religious organizations and this world of organizations, that nothing is not really coming out of it to get things better, but things get worse. You know what I'm saying? That the outcomes of these systems should speak for itself to understand okay, I need to find the truth. I need to find the whole truth and nothing but the truth concerning God's word, not, you know, taking everybody's word and saying that oh well because it sounds good and that person sounded like they sound like they know what they're talking about um i'm gonna believe them you know what i'm saying no that's not how it works it works according to it is written you know what i'm saying of what god's divine plan now here's what you know that i don't you know mainly don't hear talk about enough see romans 8 talks about an ideal of the spiritual of adoption. You know what I'm saying? The spiritual of adoption that God's people and the heirs, joint heirs through Christ of uniting together. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, that that people don't realize that today is Rosh Hashanah, a Jewish holiday. The Christians know that they if they supposed to be they if they're following God, they're supposed to be celebrating with the Jewish people on this holiday. You know, concerning the day that Adam and Eve was created, uh, Christians will look at me crazy. Like, what? We're supposed to be celebrating Jewish holidays? That doesn't make sense. I mean, not say, I mean, not the, just the idea that Jesus was Jewish and Christianity is derived from Judaism. I mean, simple stuff like that, you know, that in the ideal of uh, Romans 8 that talks about the children of God is heirs. We are joint heirs through Jesus Christ. That the spiritual adoption has to occur that the Jewish people and the Christian people are supposed to become one. Does people know that that event is supposed to happen? No, it's not. Because this divided religious church system is about men preaching Jesus, but they're not explaining the ideal details of the true plan concerning uh, the church. The church as what Paul talks about in Romans 11. That it talks about that we become joint, the olive tree, uh, 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 the natural tree, and the wild branch joined together. It's supposed to be the ideal of the event that is supposed to be uh, merging very soon. If, you know, we're going, if God's divine plan is going to happen according to what is written, it's going to take place. You know what I'm saying? Is what people need to understand that this religious church system is not following the word of God to what it is written to really truly find out what is going to happen very soon and what has to take place that pe people need to be well, well of that has been sitting in the book while you've been following this minister, or following this teacher, or following this preacher, it's been said in the book that what need was going to happen. And it's sad to many people are not understanding this concept to really since truly sincerely be about following the word of God. It's what it is written ology is all about. And nobody sh well nobody shouldn't be shocked that this the, this religious system is wrong and this world system is wrong. You shouldn't be shocked to find out whatever is well, what God is going to do going to take place. Take place. It's been written in the Bible. There should be no excuses for everybody. What? 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 This is what? No, it is written in the Bible, and you didn't. People wasn't following it, and the Bible says they wasn't going to be following it. The scripture spoke for what it says that that's what's going to happen. So, shouldn't shock you. All right, that's the message. It is written, Ology. It is written. It's going to be always be right there. And don't be shocked of what take place very soon. And it's just, it just go with the flow. Well, go with the flow. If you're going to follow Jesus, follow what the divine plan is all about. Don't be following this error filled system of this religious church and this worldly system that clearly was showing doing wrong and had wrong outcomes about it. it is what it is and that's the message god be glory and forever and ever in jesus name amen